This guy's got some hands on him, DC, and sometimes he takes issue when we call him a boxer because he is an MMA fighter and a well-rounded one at that. But it's hard not to lead the dance and lead the walk with the boxing skills that really are off the charts. Yeah, it's unbelievable. So he can be mad, but I would be happy to be called a boxer if I possessed that set of skills. If I had the ability to fix the target as well as he does. When he's most comfortable, when he's flowing, when the head is moving, when it's never on the center line, when he's landing body shots, when he's following that left body shot with that beautiful left hook, that's when he is most dangerous. It's a guy that for all that he can do in the octagon, at the end of the day, he was a boxer first and a fantastic boxer at that when he stepped into the UFC. And don't sell yourself short. I'm trying, but I'm not just that. Special feel in this arena tonight for more reasons than one, but of course the centerpiece is the former two division UFC champion, the future Hall of Famer Conor McGregor, returning to the proven ground here tonight. He fought three times in 2016, just once in 2018. Everybody's excited to see what version of Conor McGregor shows up here tonight. There are more Irish flags in the building <laughs> than you'll find anywhere in the United States of America. <laughs> and it's all for a notorious one. Conor McGregor has taken his country put it on his back and rode it to superstardom. He is a fantastic fighter, has really good takedown defense, which allows him to keep the fights on the feet where guys are always in danger. You're constantly in danger whenever you're fighting Conor McGregor because the moment you attack, that counter left hand is like a piston and he can shut your lights out with one strike. Yeah, that McGregor counter left hand, truly one of the best weapons in mixed martial arts today. A master when it comes to movement and distance management and also just rising to the occasion, right? When all eyeballs are on him, and you've experienced this as well, the ability on fight night to shine. All the distractions, Connor is able to shut him out, and he goes into the octagon, is focused, and always gets the job done. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We sent it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> third man Ready, in the fight. octagon for this one. Ready. Good. Well, how about these Irish fans and their support of the superstar Conor McGregor? Better get in your seats early because McGregor is a notorious fast starter. We'll see if McGregor can get another early KO. Punch got blocked there. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. I give one, I take one. You give one, you take one. That's how this fight is being played out. Oh, he connects there. Nice one. 
All right, so now blood is a factor. You see that he has been opened up in that eye area. Yeah, he's got hit in the eye, and now there's a cut. But it's nothing to worry about too much now. But he's got to be very careful with it as we go forward. Nice kick to the body. Oh, big hook. That'll leave the mark. Lands another huge hook. Oh, he looked like it did stun him a little bit. Oh, he gets up. The question is for how long? McGregor's hook shot there looked pretty good, but blocked by the defense. Oh, picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those he might. Oh, He's hurt bad. Lands the overhand punch to the head. Strike hits that eye area, and it is getting messier by the minute up there. Well, he's getting taunted. Oh! oh! Look at that. Now he's taunting after landing that huge strike over. He landed his punch, and he just showboated a little bit. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> oh! Trying to recover, but he's in a lot of trouble. show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot and he hurt his opponent very badly. You ready to fight? You ready? Good. Second round here. Well, an appreciative capacity crowd on its feet as this next round gets underway. That previous round, I mean, get the bonus checks ready. That was insane. It's done. These guys are taking home the fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> they laid it all on the line. They dropped the quarter in the middle of the octagon, and they said, "Let's go." Man, straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown on. The punch that lands, the one that you don't feel, is the one that lands perfect, and that's. <laughs> He's hurt really bad. Now inside the closed guard. And he's going to try to find ways to pass and move to a submission. Perry gets back up again. Nicely done. Good to Oh, oh my goodness. I mean, you got to be kidding me with that knockout. If that is not the number one play on Sports Center tonight. I'm not sure what would top it. One of the best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout. We send it in there now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 25 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, the no! 